Racing to the 2021 Kentucky Derby continues, and this time we go to Gulfstream Park. It's the Holy Bull Stakes. Grade three, nine horses have entered. Taking a look at the field, it looks like most of the prime contenders that were pointing to this race are in it. Although Mutasebek for Todd Pletcher, he ended up passing on the entry box for this one. So it'll be interesting to see if we see him next week at Tampa Bay. Of course, Mutasebek won the Mucho Macho Man Stakes in his most recent outing. The nine horse field is led by Giraffe Follies, a big winner by four lengths, came from off the pace, but his Brisnet speed figure that day was a 74. And the top runners in this race, uh, the top two favorites, Greatest Honor picked up a 97 in his most recent race, and Prime Factor picked up a 94 in his maiden special weight victory on December 12th. So I think Giraffe Valley's is a nice horse. He's by Social Inclusion, a fast horse who defeated Code of Honor at Gulfstream Park and then allowance non-winners of two race a few years back. Giraffe Valley's definitely one to watch, but I don't think he's going to be a contender in this race. Now, Willie Boy, a couple of nice efforts to start out of his career. Two for two, got to step up in class. His speed figures are competitive in the lower 90s, so you may want to take a look at Willie Boy, and I think he could probably work out a good trip with that two-post position. Papa, too, ran in the Mucho Macho Man Stakes. Ended up running a strong race, and the son of Dialed In, I think he'll get better as the year goes along. I'm not sure he wants a lot of distance, but I do think he'll develop a little bit later and develop some stamina in those mile and mile and eighth races. But he's another one who ran a nice race from a wide post position the last time. He chased Awesome Jerry, who's back in this race, and maybe he'll have to chase him again if a horse like Prime Factor decides to rate in this race. Amount is one of two Todd Pletcher trainees in this one. He broke his maiden, the son of Curlin, came from just off the pace. He was always loaded in that race, had an inside position, did a little bit of the boomerang move going into the turn, went out, got some clearance, and picked up the victory. A little bit slower speed figure came back than I think visually on paper that amount showed some talent. I think he's another one that will develop later with that Curlin breeding. Todd Pletcher trains and Louis Saez rides and amount, a nice maiden breaker, going to try to go into the stakes company in this race. Tarantino has ran in the stakes before, ran on the turf and then came back the last time out. Now he tries the dirt against some other grade three horses here. Tarantino showed a little bit of speed in his debut on the West Coast and is one to consider, but I think he's gonna be a little bit outclassed in this spot. The most likely race favorite is Prime Factor and he debuted with a wow race at Gulfstream. That was on December 12th. 94 Brisnet speed figure, second fastest figure in the race, and Todd Pletcher trains. He's a son of Quality Road. Now, Todd Pletcher trained Quality Road, and Quality Road won the Florida Derby and ran in the Bre uh, was going to run in the Breeders' Cup Classic and ended up uh, kind of freaking out at the gate that day. And interesting here, Prime Factors worked out five times since that last maiden race. Uh, two bullets, continues to train forwardly. I think he's the horse to beat in this race. He's got speed. He uh, just like the way he's been training in the mornings. And I think he's definitely a lot of upside with a horse like Prime Factor down the road. Greatest Honor is another one who should be bet on the board here. Picked up a win in his fourth lifetime start. That was the last time out and good trainer connections in this one. Slowly being developed along strong distance pedigree by Tappet, and also uh, 97 Brisnet speed figure in that race, one of the faster maiden breakers in this field. And I like the fact that he's got a little bit of development curve in him. Now there was some talk about him going to the withers, so we'll see if he runs in this race. Only nine horses are entered. He did draw a good post, and he's been training forwardly since his victory the last time out. Key factor here, Jose Ortiz rides greatest honor and Irad Ortiz rides prime factor. Sitting on go is the only stakes winner in the field. Dale Romans trained. Now he did that at 24 to one at Churchill Downs. Now recently he has kind of suffered in his last couple of races. Seems to be getting back in the groove work-wise. He does have some class as being the only stakes winner in the field, but he's gonna have to improve on that 90 speed figure that he picked up back as a juvenile. Now he's gotta do it as a three-year-old off a couple of subpar efforts, and he's also gotta face the improving greatest honor and prime factor in this race, along with a horse like Papa Two, but definitely sitting on a go, a strong contender here in this spot. 
Rounding out the field is awesome. Jerry set the pace the last time out, and those fractions were fast. Uh, Brisnet had the pace fractions of definitely on the positive side at the six furlong call, and he kind of faded late. Uh, if he can slow down the pace a little bit better, I think he can be a better matchup in this race, but he's got to deal with Prime Factor. Will he go to the lead, or will Prime Factor take that lead from the inside post position? And even a horse like Giraffe Ollies probably doesn't need to be that far back on the stretch out going a mile and the 16th here in the Holy Bull. An exciting rendition of the Holy Bull Stakes this year. I'm going to go with Prime Factor in this race. Five workouts since that last race. I think the connections think highly of this horse. Uh, Todd Pletcher has been gearing him down in the workouts. Greatest honor also a strong contender here. So I'm pretty much going to eat the chalk in this race, although I'm going to take Prime Factor on top. I guess better to have a short price than a long face in a race like this. If you want to go with a little bit more of an outsider, then you may want to see if Sitting on Go can go back to his uh, big victory in the stakes race or even a horse like the rail contender, Giraffe Ollies. He could maybe improve in his second lifetime start. That's the Holy Bull, a grade three from Gulfstream Park. The road to Kentucky continues out west with the Robert Lewis Stakes at Santa Anita, a very competitive field of eight horses, including a Breeders' Cup runner-up and Hot Rod Charlie, the son of Oxbow. He is one of the horses with stakes experience in here. Medina Spirit, who ran second to in the Sham Stakes to Life is Good, the Kentucky Derby future book favorite. And we also have Wipe the Slate, who came out of a Life is Good race, one of two big winners to come out of that race and dominate the next time out. Wipe the Slate uh, doing just that at Santa Anita in his next outing. Spielberg, the Lost Al Futurity winner, uh, he got up in the last stride the last time. He is in this race. Now, an interesting race because I think Medina Spirit is going to be the favorite, and he closed in that race, and I thought that was a little bit deceptive. They were all out going into the turn. They were trying down the stretch. I'm not sure Life is Good was really trying. I think he's going to be over a bet a little bit in this spot. I do like Wipe the Slate a little bit, but my top selection out west here is going to be Rombauer. I like the workout pattern off the layoff. I think he's going to be a distance horse. I think on the stretch out, there's enough speed in this race with Spielberg, Hot Rod Charlie, and a couple of other horses. Maybe even Medina Spirit will be more forwardly placed. So I'm going to go with Rombauer as my top selection with the possibility of Wipe the Slate also. I like that low stride on the Anteater, Wipe the Slate. He'll be uh, running well down the lane in this spot. A very competitive Robert B. Lewis. I think Medina Spirit is the one to bet against, and I'm going to be taking a shot with Rombauer. Good luck on the Robert B. Lewis stakes.